Hello there. It is me, the dual lag. Which one of these sucked? I think this one kind of sucked. Um, it was okay. The coin flip one is better though. I'm just looking for which one to delete. So I can make room to make more decks. Let's get rid of this one. I'll save it real quick though. With a screenshot. Hi, Mr. Logs. Hello there. Hmm. 53. Limit one dice. Let's think about making a deck profiles. But like an animated deck profile. Where, you know, I do the intros to my, uh, the, the archetype videos. The uh, the engines videos, but I do that to explain the the main combo plays of the deck. That seems like a fun idea. Limit one festival. Hmm. I wanted to delete the whole deck. This super late log. Shut up. Thanks for the sub scavrex. How art the dual logs? Hello there. Can I get a hint for the card of the next week? I don't know. I should record that today. I was thinking about picking something completely random. Oh no, I think I know what I'll go over. Hey, the dual logs logs. Hello there. The Limit 1 Festival. The deck I'm thinking about playing is a Life Point Gain Mill. Would it be... That's basically just a Spriggan deck, right? You left out Exodia for Card of the Week? Alright. Create New. Okay. So for Life Point Gain Mill, we need... The life, if I type in life point gain, does it give me cards? No way. These are actually cards that increase your life points. I didn't think that would work. Whoa. Battle and Boxer Veil? Silent Wobby? <laughs> this is 2,000 life points, but it also gives your opponent plus two in card advantage. Hey, Mr. Logs. Hello there, Ghost of Monty. Thanks for the sub. Hmm. Were you the one who was taxing Rose of me yesterday? Hmm. Dude. Rose of me stream yesterday was a great idea. I think it's an excellent idea to just have a whole bunch of people on and duel them best two out of three. I never even thought of doing that because it sounds like it's a nightmare to organize that many people, especially like other content creators. Like it's not that big a deal to get like your friends on, but if you're getting other content creators, that's actually like a, a lot of effort. I'm surprised Rosemi did that. Cauldron, I know, I know. Stop yelling at me. Hmm. It doesn't give me all the life point gain cards. Gain life points. I have life point gain and it says gain life points. And if you do, your opponent gains 2,000 life points. It is cards that have to do with life point gain, but it's not all of them. Like there's no cauldron of the old man, for example. How do you spell cauldron again? Oh, you know what's also like really awkward about it? And every time she was announcing a new guest, chat would spam, is it the duologues? Is it the duologues? And it's like, no, it's not. <laughs> it's really awkward you guys keep asking. Cauldron. 
cauldron. Golden. I'm just going to type them all in manually. <gasps> Golden apples! That's a life point gain card, kind of. We put in my staples that would fit goodly in this deck. Basically all the hand traps. Not all of them, though. Super Poly? I don't know if I want to run Super Poly. Fun fact, Chromebooks can't run Twitch streams. That's weird. Wonder why not. Hey, PP. Finally get to watch Mr. Logs live. Hello there, Pepe9009. Thanks for the resub. The Tenyes it is, you know it. Imagine not playing Tenyes cringe. Evenly matched. Okay, those are all the staples. Did I add in Lord of the Heavenly Prison? I did. There's some aroma cards that work really well. <clears throat> Dried winds, basically. I don't know if any of the other ones work very good. Hmm. Of course, the side effects. Of course, Trick Star. Reincarnation. And the other engine pieces. And then Bloom. And then Licorice. I don't think I need Licorice, actually. And then what we need. Invoked Engine? No. Hello, Mr. Duologs. Hello there. I'm loving your videos going over engines, by the way. Not nearly enough videos go over them. There will be enough once I go over all of them. And then there's the gift cards. Hmm. One of the main combo pieces of this deck is to give my opponent Pot of Desires. And hope they use it. <laughs> um, graceful. Oops, I spelled that wrong. Graceful tear. Child's play. Uh, supply. Uh, backup. Temple. Um, a rainbow dragon, I think. Hmm. Hmm. What's the name of that one car that's just like Battling Boxer Veil? Terraforming? Terra will work. Hello, Mr. Longs. There's no way of me sending you custom cards that doesn't require me to get Twitter, like a business email or something. I have some good cards you might like. Um, custom cards are only accepted during the one week window in which I ask for them. Otherwise, I ignore all custom cards that are sent to me. However, there is a spot in the Discord where other people on the Discord server discuss custom cards, if you want to join that. Because here's the thing. With custom cards, I have people send them in to me all the time. Because they probably just watched a handful, maybe just one of the custom card reviews. And they didn't watch the end or the beginning where I explain how, the, how they're sent in. That's fine. I don't need them to watch all that stuff. But for, for everyone else, the reason why I don't read custom cards outside of the thing is because I'm always incredibly busy. Just think, for example, you're, you're in school and it's finals week. 
and you have two projects that need to be done, but you also need to study for all your finals. That's the kind of busy I am every week, because there's always a whole bunch of projects that are just constantly behind schedule, because I manage 15 people. And would you be able to read people's custom cards that were sent in to you and give feedback during your finals week when you had two projects that were looming over you? No, you'd be too busy, right? Hmm. And this is why it's only done during a specific week. Because, um... I'm just too busy. Let's see here. What was I going to get? I forgot. Magic Cylinder? No. Hydrolander? No. Hire someone to manage those people? I do have managers. Who manages the managers, though? Spooky Dogwood, of course. Spooky. Jura Ghetto? Ah, that's not enough life points, but I'll add it. Jurigido. I think there's two R's in it. No, 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 no. Jurigido. There aren't. How the fuck do you spell? No. There we go. Vishuda. I have Vishuda in here. Okay. Mm. Is this good? No, because there's one more card I keep I can't remember the name of. It's a card where you discard your opponent's hand and they draw five cards. The card is necessary to the combo. But I can't remember what it's called. What the hell is it called? That's you 1200 spells on itself. If your opponent runs Sword Soul, Longyun. Mm. Present card? It might be. I don't think it is a present card. Let me try that out. Present card. Here it is. Mm. Disturbance strategy? No, not that one. Oh, I should run Droll. Because I have the Trickstar stuff. Add Morphine Jar? Ooh, good idea. Both of them. Any other ideas? Hand Destruction. Of course! Struck. I don't know how to fucking spell. Hand destruction. Is it not card destruction? No, it's hand destruction, thank god. Hand destruction is not good enough. Gold rain, how many cards are you gonna use? Morphing jar, needle worm. Needle worm might work. Might. I don't I don't think it's good enough. Margin trade? Hmm. Both players look at their opponent's deck and choose one card, then add the card from their own deck chosen by their opponent to their hand. No. Ancient Warrior Longi. Which one is Longi? Valiant. Fearsome, graceful, eccentric. Deception. I don't see it. Rainbow life? Rainbow life sucks. Soul levy? Soul levy works. I think. Mm. 
Draining shield? No. Linear equation cannon for the laws? No. Fortune tune? Battle fader? Um, what's the name of that one car that gains life points? Check some. Perform pal Karibpo? No. That one does gain life points though. I okay. There is a card. It's just like Battle and Boxer Veil. You use it when you take damage, special summon it, but you can choose to gain life points or deal damage. Soul Absorption? No, I don't banish enough for that. Did you add the books for Morphine Jar? No. Mahama? No. Doesn't one of the Sky Strikers give life points? It does, but not a lot. Yeah, it was something Fairy Dragon, I think. Ah, oh, here it is. Oh, it was Mahama. I didn't know it had a, a name. <laughs> I just thought it was like something Rainbow Dragon. <laughs> Cyber Angel Natasha? No, I'm not gonna run ritual support. Why not try and guess? Uh, cause try and guess sucks. Solemn Wishes? No. Okay. Would you ever consider Sophia Goddess of Rebirth? No, I can't go into that in this card in this deck. Thanks for the sub at Pikachu Hats. Hmm. I say Ancient Leia. What? Why Vishuda? Oh, I don't really need Vishuda. Battle Fader, Relinquished Anima, the Kaijus, hello Mr. Logs, hope you have a beautiful event, why thank you. Pot of Dichotomy, oh that's a good one. Of Dichotomy. It's a Dichotomy is with a CH. There we go. Dichotomy. Hmm, I'll let you could only use a 40 card deck for the event. <gasps> Wait, can you only use a 40 card deck for the event? I'm pretty sure you can use whatever you want. Because I need my deck to have at least like 45 cards in it. Put in Waking the Dragon. 60 is possible. Okay, good. The Red Resonator stuff. I meant to Leaf. Ancient Leaf. <sighs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, immortal. Where the hell is the immortal card? There he is. The Ascendant of the Immortal. The Arch Nemesis Worms. Ancient Warrior Long Union. Let me see. Wow, uh, it's not there. I love Global Feet. I saw you guys using it out in the wild. Rainbow Life? No, Rainbow Life sucks. Golden Ladybug. Heck yeah, free 500 every turn from the hand. Can't get better than that. Three of the Fallen one. Mm, too, too, too little. Gingerbread House? <clears throat> Maybe. Mr. Logs, thanks for the, the resubscribe, Epirus476. 
Mr. Duologs, you should make a Tiara Source of Destruction deck. I already have. It was like a couple weeks ago. It was really good. Normal Poly for DPE package? DPE? Why does Rainbow Life suck? It's a Battle Trap minus two. Doesn't gain you any advantage. Your opponent usually only attacks once and then they stop. Best way to make use of it is through infinite combos that allow you to attack into your opponent. Which I don't want to run. Because you have to build your whole deck around that. Unless you build your whole deck around Rainbow Life, it doesn't really do anything. Hmm. There can be only one or goes in match. Dimensional Fusion, other banished chaos zone. Maybe. Dimension. <clears throat> oh, it's not banned. Chaos Shifter. The gateway to chaos. Soul absorption. Uh, macro. There can be Ooh, Kaiser Coliseum. There can be only one. Ooh, look at all these cards that aren't banned. Gozen. Oh. Toll hike. I don't know if Toll hike is good enough. Delinquent duo would be satisfying. Heck yeah, skill drain is banned in this format. Rivalry. How do you spell rivalry? Is that how you spell it? Yeah. Gravekeeper's servant. It's not enough, but it might work because of the, the other floodgates. Evenly matched to save you. I think I have evenly matched in here, right? I guess not. Ancient Warrior Long Yunyon. You have to spell it correctly. I typed in Long Yunyon and nothing showed up. Long Guan. Guan. It's one of these, right? Loyal. Is this it? It's Loyal Guan, not Long. Right? If your opponent controls a monster, spell some of this card from your hand. Your opponent cannot target other ancient monsters you control with card effects. If your opponent controls more monsters than you do, target one monster your opponent controls, destroy it. You can lose this effect once per turn. Your opponent cannot target other ancient wars with effects. If your opponent controls more monsters than you do, target one monster your opponent controls and destroy it. That's pretty good. I want to add to my deck. Why won't it let me? My question? Did you ask a question? I have a question. Did you play Elden Ring? Yeah, I played it for like 10 minutes on stream once. That was about it. Draw Muscle or Book of Eclipse? I, sh I would like to play more Elden Ring. Off screen. <laughs> Not on stream. <laughs> a Book of... You're right. Book of Eclipse is good. Ah, I'm out of room. I need to remove... I'll remove... I'll remove... I'll remove... This. He is the fake pinker tops. Close enough. Pot of extravagance. I have it. You can play 65 cards? Yeah, of course. He's a fake pinker tops. I mean, so is uh, Alpha when I play him. I love my fake pinker tops. I didn't know there was another one. What is this monstrosity of a deck? This is a life point gain mill deck. Of course. I have a big test tomorrow, Sama. Dual log, Sama. Can I get a luck buff? 
Of course. I shall give you some tips. Hello there, it is me, the moon spider in the shade. I exist in the shade because it's too hot outside. Here's some tips. If you wish to do well in your test, what you should do is, is study a lot. But like consistently throughout the year instead of cramming all at once. Hopefully that helps for your test tomorrow. Jupiter is so pretty this time of year. Shut up. Okay. So I have all these cards. Let me batch generate the cards I don't own real quick. Now it's time to do some cutting. Psychic Eraser Laser? No, I don't want to give my opponent life points. I don't care about giving my opponent life points. So, <clears throat> let me take a screenshot of this real quick. Life point gain cards. Study cringe. Life Yu-Gi-Oh's better. I know, I know. All right, so for this, um, the main goal for this deck is to deck out my opponent through the effects of Trickstar Reincarnation, Trickstar uh, Present to card, which uh, gives my opponent five cards, maybe Book of Eclipse to draw a whole bunch of cards, a hand card destruction to get rid of even more cards, especially if I give them a bunch of cards in their hand, thanks to side effects and maybe they keep them in their hand. Problem is a lot of these cards are stopped by... Uh, Ash Blossom, but you're gonna play one Ash Blossom in this format. So those are the main ways to win. And then how do we we not lose while we do that? Well, we gain life points, and then we draw cards through a backup squad. That's that's the main goal of that. So we have those two things, which require a lot of cards to play those engines. And then finally, the last thing we need to do is stop my opponent from killing me. What are the best ways to stop your opponent from killing you? Floodgates. So that's like the, the trifecta, that's the balance. We need the cards that mill, we need the cards that gain life points, and we need the floodgates to stop my opponent from being able to do things. Hmm, good morning. It is morning. So I can remove anything which does not contribute to that win condition. Everything in here currently does contribute to the win condition, but we also need staple cards to just not lose. If we go second, open to Floodgate, and my opponent can't do anything about it, that's great. But what if they can do something about it? Is Meister Rune in Master Duel yet? No. Hmm. 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 Like, because, you know, the back the strategy heavily involves a bunch of cards staying on the field, so I need some way to protect my back row. And one of the best back row protectors is... Uh, Solemn Judgment, however, it costs half your life points to use. And I need my life points. I need to gain life points to mill. Yeah, so I was thinking, um, huge revolution is over. <laughs> Huge revolution is over, and um, dark bribe. But this just keeps adding more cards. Like if I only have these cards, and I won't be able to do anything. Okay, so that's this is my back row protection. Huge revolution is over, dark bribe, and solemn judgment. I could also add a starlight road. I can't add any more cards to the deck. No, let's get rid of that. Related. Okay, now I need to cut. What do I cut from this deck? Lord of the Heavenly Prison? I have Lord of the Heavenly Prison already. The thing is, this log will save some of my past cards. So I can go through and start cutting. Do I need Golden Ladybug for this combo? Um, 
Not really, but I want it. Do I need Drone Lockbird? Drone Lockbird can potentially get rid of my opponent's hand. I'm going to play it. Do I need Needle Worm? No. Do I need Morphine Jar? No, but I want to try it. Do I need Max C? No. Do I need Morphine Jar number two? No. Do I need Ghost Ogre? Ghost Ogre stops Sword Soul, so yes. Do you need Ash Blossom? Ash Blossom stops the summon of DPE, so yes. Do you need Ghost Bell? Ghost Bell stops DPE, so yes. Do you need the Spooky do Bog Dogwood? Yes, life points. Jurigato? No, I don't need it. Battle in Box of Veil? Don't need it. Canadia? Yes, crucial combo piece. Mahama? Yes. Check some Dragon? No, don't need it. Dimension Shifter? Don't need it, but it is good. Cumongus? Don't need it. Ascended Thunder? Don't need it. Pankratops? I don't need it. I just want it. Vishuda? No. Ancient Warriors? No. Alpha? No. Winged Dragon of Raw Sphere Mode? Yes, with all the stalling. I can possibly put out. I might be able to use it. But I think it's too hard to summon. I think Lava Golem probably better. I'll try a Lava Golem instead. Lord of the Prison? Yes. Nibiru? Uh, don't need it. Harpy's Feather Duster? Yeah, I'll play that as my one form disruption. Necessary? Don't need. Um, necessary. Cup of Ace? Mills 2? It's not enough. Ancient Leaf, I'm trying it out for fun. Pot of Dichotomy, I think I removed too many cards to play this. Gift Exchange, uh, I think I'm giving up on the idea of giving my opponent Pot of Desires. Kind of, uh, I'll keep it in. Pot of Desires, Pot of Extravagance, yeah I'll keep that for the card draw. Lightning Storm, hmm. I think I play too many face-up cards for this. I'll get rid of it. Pot of Prosperity? Yes. Chaos Zone? <gasps> no, I don't need it. Light Stage? Yes. Temples? Yes. That saves me a lot, but it's not necessary. Gravekeeper's Servant? Don't need it, but I'm going to leave it in for now. Kaiser Coliseum? That is my Floodgate. Soul Absorption? I don't think I banished enough for that. That's a Floodgate. This is to draw me cards. This is to gain life points every time my opponent summons a monster. Don't need gingerbread house. This is good life point gain. This is good interruption. This is back row protection. This isn't necessary. This contributes to the win condition. This doesn't. Necessary, necessary, not necessary. Necessary, 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 not really necessary. Hmm, I'm gonna get rid of one of these. We don't really need Soul Levy either. If I'm flagging my opponent, they're not gonna be summoning a lot of monsters. This is good for now. No tenues. There's another cultural old man that gains more life points the longer the game is. This one. They don't have another one. Okay, this should be good for now. Let me look at the ratios real quick. So, how many floodgates do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Ideally, I want to run at least six of them. Five is good enough. How many mill cards do we have? One, potentially two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven mill cards. Uh, ideally, I want that to be like a quarter of my deck. And then, how many life point gain cards do we have? One, two, three. Four, five, six, 
Only six. That's fine. And everything else is just staples in order to increase the consistency of everything else. I just realized if you have Eater of Billions full extra deck, that's 1,500 life points. True, but it's only a one of. Hello, is this the guy from the top tens? Yes. No skill drain? Skill drain is banned in the event. Forgot to count Cauldron? Oh, okay. That's another good one. Yeah, that's that's a really good life point gain card. You really need DP indication when there's no fusion destiny? They ban fusion destiny? I'm pretty sure fusion destiny is in the event. Let me double check. Fusion Destiny. Wait, it's probably easier to type in Destiny, huh? Destiny. There's Destiny Hero Phoenix Enforcer. But I don't see Fusion Destiny. Is it actually banned? Huh. So I don't need too many anti DPE cards. Monarchs, Imperial Order. No, I need my spells. It's a hella band. Mm. Verte is also hella band. Nice. Okay, this should work as a premiere. There are some cards that I'm just playing just for fun, which don't, aren't necessary. Like Ancient Leaf, Gift Exchange, Pot of Desires, Gravekeeper Servant. So I'll, I'll think about removing those if necessary. Um, yeah, I just need to fill out the extra deck. Extra deck doesn't really matter. So let me just play a good mixture of staples. Where's IP Mask Arena? Pico Flina. Oh, it's light. Where's the light charmer at? It's in the game, right? Hmm. Well, whatever. Where's Cerubius? Nightmare Cerubius. Cerberus is yeah, there. It's right next to Phoenix. And then to end it off, we'll go with Geonator Transverser. Okay. I did it. Limit one festival, copy deck. Edit deck. Limit one. Life point gain mill. Uh, what is this version? It looks pretty standard, so we'll just say a uh, floodgate. Life point gain mill floodgate. Change accessories. Oh, it's already set up. They hit the mic log. I didn't hit the mic. You guys are crazy. Let's go. Whoa, that only took me 42 minutes to build? Crazy. Guardian Joan, should be a lot of life points. Would be a monster on your field. Uh, it's too hard to bring out, and you have to destroy monsters by battle. With a monster with no protection, that ain't happening. Okay, so, I had this dream last night. 
It was the weirdest dream. No, it wasn't the weirdest dream. It was a pretty normal one. It, it was more like... I'm not going to tell you the whole thing, but basically, um... I, I walked out of this tunnel and there was this wide open field. And it was just like so ridiculously detailed and colored. That I was like, how is this a dream if there's so many details here? It's crazy. I'm just surprised at how, um how detailed it was able to make it and then as I'm walking through I have a someone with me and we're both walking together through this field and then we see a grizzly bear in the, in the distance and I was like oh no there's a bear what do we do we can't run away the bears faster than us and there's no nothing to like hide behind and the person I'm with is like calm down we don't need to do anything I'm a polar bear I was like oh yeah you are a polar bear <laughs> we don't need to do anything he's not gonna come over here and apparently in my dream it was totally normal for there just to be a polar bear talking to me. Let's see, which one should I get? I can gain some life points. I can gain some protection. Yeah, let's grab that. Is this Game of Thrones lore? Shut up. Don't make fun of me. The prediction is up. Time to gain some life points. And then also in the dream, I met up with my, uh, with, with like a friend. I was like, we should totally hang out. And then she's like, yeah, of course. He was like, but you live so far away. And I was like, yeah, I do. He was like, oh, but I saw this really cool place we can go to. And she's like, that that's neat. And she's like, I have to be able to take my kid. It's like, yep, yeah, that's fine. I was like, yeah, we should really hang out because, uh, you know, one of my friends died. And uh, I didn't get to hang out enough with her before that happened. And she's like, I know, that would suck. And then I woke up and I was like, god damn it, brain. Why'd you do this to me? The friend I was making plans with in my dream was the one who died. Don't you hate it when that happens? You're having a dream about making plans with a friend, and it turns out they're already dead. Sounds poetic. I know. <laughs> this now, I'm not, I'm like, I think I snapped out of it. I'm, I'm not really sad anymore. A couple days ago, I just like something, I just woke up and I wasn't really sad anymore. I think my grieving period is over. It took about three and a half weeks, a little under a month. There can be only one. Feels like inspiration for vent art, maybe a short story. Oh, that's a good idea. I don't have friends. Well, because the thing is I really wanted to bring her to that super colorful place with the bear and I had a polar bear for protection, so it was fine. But then I woke up and I was like, what the hell, man? For like, you know, two reasons the, the dream was weird. One of them was how ridiculously detailed it was. It always just blows my mind how detailed things can be in dreams. Because it's like, it's all imaginary. It's a landscape that doesn't exist. It was just completely made up. It's like, I can't believe my brain is able to just make up something so detailed. And then two, my brain loves to fuck with me. He's <laughs> like, here, here, make, make some plans with your dead friend because you don't want to uh, miss out on making plans with him because of your dead friend, you know? Yeah, I was doing a little bit of trolling. It was Snorlax merch. Oh yeah, I can use reincarnation to bring it back. Got you, 2012 childhood friend. He used to steal my Hot Wheels. And when I took them back, he cried as if they were <laughs> Oh my god, that sounds annoying. They got over it, Logs. At this point, your brain is just trolling you. It does. I'm surprised my brain is smart enough to dream in more than 8-bit. Let's gain some more life points. Yeah, it's weird what the brains will do. Hello everyone, pleasure to be here. Hello there.
I had a dream yesterday about my dad throwing pizza at my face, Mach 1 speed. <gasps> that sounds pretty cool. Crap, I caught a stream. I had a dream where I'm making plants for mom's birthday, even though she passed away four years ago. Three of the brains will do. Yeah, this has to be like a, a thing that happens to everyone. Oh no, I'm getting killed. It was not fun. <laughs> you don't like your dad throwing pizza at your face? I had daddy issues in my dreams. Have you ever tried not having daddy issues in your dreams? Dude, why is Cauldron of the Old Man so good? Also, why is it need so many more cards? Gain 500 life points for each counter on this card. Let's get rid of another one of his cards. Man, light stage is so good. Once per turn, just pop one of your opponent's back row cards. Are you my dad? No. I don't think so. Whoa, it was Mirror Force? You can't summon any more cards? Eventually, I'm going to get to a point where I just gain more life points than his Mech Knight Indigo Eclipse can put out. What are you going to do, Mech Knight Indigo Eclipse? So, moral of the story, if you go out into an imaginary landscape that's hyper-realistic, make sure you have a polar bear with you. Because everybody knows polar bears are the top of the totem boat. Po totem pole when it comes to um to bears <laughs> look at him dealing all this damage to me even though I'm just gonna gain it all back thanks to cauldron of the old man polar bear moment I will keep that in mind mr. Lux <laughs> See, this is how you run life point gain mill, you just activate the floodgates and then protect those floodgates. You think I can run sky strikers with this? Don't sky strikers work well with floodgates? All of the dumble logs, hello there. Let's get rid of another one of their face down cards. Make sure the polar bears give you coca cola. I'll keep that in mind. What about grizzly bears? No, polar bears are the strongest bears. I think... I don't think there are other polar bears that come close to them. But maybe there are. I don't know. In D&D, the cave bear is the same CR rating as the polar bear. But I think that's just a made-up bear. I'm finally at 2500 gain thanks to Cauldron of the Old Man. Imagine me a Mystic Mind in this game? Dude, I'd be playing that all the time. Gift exchange? Ooh, it's time to give gifts. Elden Ring bears are freaking OP. Yeah, bears are like, strong. Like, if you encounter a bear in the wild who charges you, you're dead. They can climb faster than you, they can run faster than you. They take more than one shot to kill. Bears are scary. That's why my dream was like, oh no, there's a bear, what do we do? And my friend's like, relax, I'm a polar bear. I was like, oh yeah. It's all good. I think bears are strong in most games. For good reason. You're banned? Is the sound not working for that? I don't know why the sound works sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. Maybe it's because my sound is turned really low. Let me turn it up. Who you think is gonna choose one or three? Come on, choose three. Choose three cards. Oh, <gasps> he actually went for all three. You've gotta be kidding me. Gift exchange, I'm gonna give him a gift. You get Pot of Desires. Give me a gift too. Greed is always trustful. Exactly. 
Card Circuit Raid. Hello there, Card Circuit Raid. Welcome to the Duel Zone. Today, in the Duel Zone, we will be dueling... Hey man, have a great stream. Why, thank you. He gave me a maxi? I don't want a maxi. I gave you a pot of desires and you give me a max. Well, maxi is pretty good, actually. But you can't summon any cards. Uh, now we'll, we'll let it go. He's going to draw Harpy's Feather Duster. I have a protection for it. He needs two Harpy's Feather Dusters to clear my board. The deck seems fun. It is. I'm gaining life points and milling my opponent. Should have had Waking the Dragon and give him Harpy's Feather Duster. <laughs> I've done that before. Oh, he used it. No one ever uses it. I didn't think he'd actually use the card. I guess he's really desperate. The fool. Don't you know I'm trying to get you to draw through your deck? Oh my god, I didn't think that would actually work. What a mad lad. I think I might remove Soul Levy. It doesn't seem super useful in this deck. Wait, 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 wait. No, before use if No, that's fine. I should have a chance to respond to it with Maxi. Yeah, the brave soul. <laughs> He's playing a galaxy deck? Did he just completely whiff it this whole time? Here. Oh, I think maybe he thought he was going to add it to his hand. You're going to stop the Maxi? Go for it. I don't care. My back row is protected. I have the huge revolution is over. You need to mass wipe my back row twice if you want to get rid of everything. And I have a way to stop your attacks with Book of Eclipse. And also, you're just going to mill yourself. I guess Soul Levy is doing work. Only one more card left. Wait, should I play Scrap Iron Scarecrow? How goes the stream logs? This is going good. You think I don't have protection? You think I have all this clear back row without any form of protection? It's a 1 a.m. stream? No, it's, it's 12 in the afternoon. Hello, Mr. Log. Glad to finally catch your stream. Mostly watch you on tube. I've been a fan for a while. Keep really good work. Why, thank you, Rocktopus. <laughs> of course he surrendered. He got life point gained milled. One of the problems with life point gained mill is sometimes they just don't, um... They quit out before you have a chance to win. It's work. Of course it's working. This is one of my original decks. I have a handful of originals. Decks that I created. That are garbage. They're fun. Life point gain mill. That's my baby. I birthed it from my womb. And you know why? It's because there's better ways to mill. <laughs> it's actually really inefficient. Oh, I should have used Pot of Extravagance first. Fuck, I forgot. I forgot how it works. <sighs> I might lose this because of that. I might not lose too, you know. Okay, we set these. And then, Temple of the Mind Eye to protect myself. There we go. Do like taking that long? Might as well add final countdown. Mmm. <clears throat> no. What did I banish? I think I gave them a better hand. Foolish Burial, low-key, broken. Well, I guess not low-key, it is limited for a reason. A Lure of Darkness. A lure of Darkness, low-key, overrated. Ixul? <gasps> it's like Iron Chains. Uh-oh. Oh no. 
It's a good thing I used Temple of the Mind's Eye. A Luber! I can't stop a Luber! That's what I should have saved Ash Blossom for. Branded Dark Lord? Yeah, it looks like it. A Luber. Someone actually summoned that card? What does this card even do? I change it to defense position. Mmm, they got rid of my field spell so they can OTK. <clears throat> Not a Luber, the number three Ash target behind Branded Fusion. Branded Open's also a pretty good target. Oh no. Dramaturge of Despia. I'm gonna lose all my cards. Well, this is what happens when I don't open a floodgate. <laughs> Dang, their entire hand was full of starters. Holy shit. It didn't matter what I used Ash Blossom on. Destroy one card your opponent controls. Go for it. You gave him those cards? I know, his original hand was much better. <laughs> Get crunked, a luber. So let me see if we can Ash, Ash Blossom negate draws. It sure can. Extravagance, six cards. They're gonna regret giving me time to come back. Maybe not. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I'm screwed. Sulphacord. Cutia. Dang. That Trickstar reincarnation really helped their hand out. Uh huh. It was a Sulphacord deck this whole time? Could have fooled me. <gasps> he put one of his own cards in defense position. <gasps> Why? I just reached three, two, one hours in Master Duel? Wait, how do you check that? I want to see how many hours I have in Master Duel. Terraform? That's useless. I already drew both my field spells. Yeah, he did miss lethal. How many cards do I have in my extra? <laughs> I have no idea. I have enough to use a six. Gift exchange, Gravekeeper, Book of Eclipse, Soul Levy, Macrocosmos. Is they're all good? They have 20 cards left in their deck. Hmm, they're not going to special summon very much. Book of Eclipse is probably the best one because it saves me for a turn. And also draws them cards. Oh, I'm so scared. Book of Eclipse is kind of forced. Book of Eclipse is so good in this deck. Whoever suggested Book of Eclipse, good idea. Diviner of the Herald. They already have a uh, Herachia on the field. What are they going to use the Diviner of the Herald? It was me. Thank you. Tragedy. This card is sent to the graveyard. 
Add another branded card. <gasps> Where's the Kite Roid or Battle Fader? I don't need them. These cards are too slow. I'd rather have cards with dual purposes. The reason I like Book of Eclipse is because it also draws my opponent cards. Usually a detriment, a positive in this deck where I'm trying to build my opponent. Come on, summon more cards. Or just use Harpy's Feather Duster so I can bring out Stardust Dragon. I guess one of the good things about Despias is they don't really bring out negates. Hello? Hello there. Kite Roid isn't a thing, unfortunately. Uh oh. Link monsters can't go to defense position. IP Mascarina? Are they trying to get over my Book of Eclipse? Crusadia Avermax? Just makes it easier for me. Side effects. Even if he only draws one card, I still live. My only weakness! Come on, draw three cards, idiot! Give me 6,000 life points! Yeah! Let's me survive two extra turns. Harpy's Feather Duster? Thank you! Now I get a Stardust Dragon! Oh fuck, it's banished. <laughs> it must have got banished through the pot of extravagance. Oh well, I was only going to be useful for blocking one attack anyway. Oh, he, he's afraid of Book of Eclipse. He has 14 cards left in his deck. I don't think I can mill him. I think I'm game over. I don't think there is a card I can go into that would save me. Archlord Christia. Taxes Dragon against my life point gain mill deck? Okay. Hmm. Sound clip is broken, is it? It shouldn't be. Your opponent is about to end their turn. I think you forgot your taxes. Ghost Ogre. Snow Rabbit. Hmm. I can use that to block one attack from Avermax. Cubic Seed negates enemy monster effects. <gasps> and Cubic Seed might not be half bad. Where's Marshmallion? Having a battle immune monster probably wouldn't be half bad. I'll think about adding Aroma Jar to the deck. Or Cubic Seed. Those both would probably work. If I can draw into a battle immune monster, that would be so good right about now. As normal summoned another monster. The cubic trap as well. There's a cubic trap. Band is having no effects. I don't know why they don't have any uh, sounds. Let me see. Wait, that's all they're going to attack with? If they're only going to attack with two monsters, I'm not going to use Book of Eclipse. I'll take the damage. Main phase two, end phase. Yeah, it looks like the sound effects aren't working. Cauldron. <gasps> Activate. I didn't think it would uh, do that for each activation. Oops. <gasps> Oh well. Once it gets two counters, it will counteract the amount of life points I lost due to Taxes Dragon. Battle phase! Oh, I'm dead.
Tour of Doom is a good floodgate. Also, Rainbow Life is good for gaining life points in your opponent's taxi directly. Uh, it's not good. Your opponent stops after one attack. It, it stops your opponent from, you know, attacking for the rest of the turn, but... You know, if I just want my stop my opponent from attacking for the rest of the turn, I can play something that doesn't go minus one. Or minus two, actually, because there's no card advantage. You just go minus two to stop your opponent's battle phase. Which you can accomplish with minus ones instead. And you only gain a little bit of life points. It's not worth it. Battle in Boxer Veil? I have Veil. Well, I mean, I took it out. It wasn't that good. Um, Aroma Jar. And, uh, Cubic. Cubic Seed. This one, right? Can I be sure a battle? Then do a damage step. This card battles an opponent's monster. Place this card in your spell and trap card zone. as a continuous spell card. And if you do, place one cubic counter on that monster. Monsters with cubic counters cannot attack. Also negate their effects. <laughs> yeah. You guys said one of the trap cards was good too? I don't... Which one? I can't imagine any of these. Special summon a cubic seed from your deck. And if you do, change the attack target to that. And if you do, perform damage calculation. If your life points are at least 2,000 higher than your opponent's, banish this card from your graveyard. Special summon cubic seed from your hand deck or graveyard. Then if your opponent controlled a monster, two more cubics. Oh, that is good. Okay, I'm going to remove gift exchange and desires. And what else should I remove? I think I can just leave it like this. I do want to have slightly more cards in my deck than my opponent. Can I see your opponent's stack? You want to see the stack of Despia cards? Okay, let me see why the sound effects aren't working real quick. I forgot what website they're on. Join combo? That's not it. Limit one event. I think it's blurp. The ledger. That's Yu Gi Oh! I don't think I have any of this shit saved. Man, I bought a new computer yesterday. I swear, most of these problems are caused by just. The computer I have. I remember I spent a lot of money on a good computer a few years ago and it came busted and I could never figure out what was wrong with it. I don't know what's up with the sound effects. They should be working. What's it called? Blurp. Trying to log in with Twitch. Oh my god, why why is it like this? Can I type it in? There we go. Notification streamer dashboard.
These are the bits ones. Let me see. Emotional damage! Damn, that's loud. <laughs> I'm in danger! <laughs> Can I get a Hoya? What the fuck is that? These nuts. Ha! Got him. <laughs> that's a good one. Oh, that's an excellent sound effect. It would freak you guys out. There should be like a, a, a Twitch one. It's working now? Let me, let me test, see if it works. Hoggies. Okay, now it's working. Let me just bookmark this so I don't have to like type all this shit in manually next time. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure why this sound isn't working on the throw effects. Let me see. Oh, it is working. My sound was just too low. All right, let's go. Will True Draco be played in the Limit One Fest? No. True Draco's lame. True Draco, more like True Lamo. If you want to play the real Floodgate, you should play Life Point Game Mill. Let's win more duels. I plan on it. You can call me the duel winner because all I do is win duels. I can't believe I did not have... I'm gonna set all my cards even if they have a Harpy's Feather Duster. I don't care. No balls. Eclipse finished Limit 1 in a single stream. Are you planning on following her footsteps? Uh, no, Eclipse streams for like 12 hours regularly. That's crazy. I can't do that, I get tired. Uh oh invocation. Should I use drone lockbird here? I don't think that's necessary. Seventeen hours. Holy hacking heck. Moon Maiden. I should probably activate this now. I got all the rewards today using Dogmatica Invoke Shadal. Kaiju Eldritch. It was shockingly consistent for having two other engines randomly jammed on top of it. One of the things you'll learn playing this event is that just jamming a bunch of engines into a deck is surprisingly effective. <laughs> and then you'll see how I'm able to actually win with my, my gimmicks. They're like some competitive meta decks where it's nothing but engines. Droll's kind of ass in the event. I'm playing Droll because I have a Trickstar Reincarnation. So I can get rid of my opponent's entire hand. It's pretty good with my deck. I'm not playing it because of the hand trap part. I'm playing it because of the combo and the fact that it can also be used as a hand trap sometimes. You know? Cubic Ascension. When your opponent declares an attack, summon, and if you do, change the attack target to it. I think I'll save it. Can't be destroyed. Ha ha, idiot. Invoked Macabre. Get crunked. And then it will get popped. During the end phase, unless it negates the effect, which I don't think it can do. <laughs> Gosh, life point gain mill is so good. Oh! <gasps> I have the combo! Oh, I gotta make sure I don't fuck this up. Life point gain meal. Okay, how do I do this again? The combo is, um, they, they search a card, I activate Droll Lockbird, and then I activate this. No, I activate this first, and then Droll Lockbird second. Okay, I got it. Come on, summon Alistair. Summon Alistair. Kaiju, I don't give a shit. Summon your Alistair. Don't just summon another Kaiju. Give me your Alistair. Oh my god. <laughs> Where the fuck is your Alistair? 
Um, I could just flip it face down. But I don't really care about protecting my cards. Damn it, I want to rip his hand. I can just bring back a Roma Jar. I know he has a Kaiju. Ooh. You know, I'll wait until his Kaiju's gone. Alistair at home. Summon your damn Alistair. Stop being afraid of losing all the cards in your hand. I know you have Alistair, do it. Come on. Summon your Alistair. Another Time Lord? What the fuck? At the end of the battle phase, this card battles and your life points are lower than your opponent's. Conflict damage to your opponent equal to the difference. He's stream sniping. Maybe he just doesn't have any other... I don't know. He could be. Alien is a hard counter. The Time Lords suck. If I just don't summon anything, I'm good. If my opponent searches anything, he loses his entire hand. <gasps> there it is! Magical Meltdown! That searches a... Oh, I didn't search anything. Why did he activate Magical Meltdown? Oh, because it blocks stuff. That's fine. There's the search! There's the search! First, I activate Trickstar Reincarnation. Then, I activate Drone Lockbird as Chain Link 2. And he loses his whole hand! Say goodbye to Exodia. <laughs> what do you can do with a lone Alistair on the field? Nothing. That's what I thought. Yeah, the kaiju's gone. I can set my aroma jar. Ooh, spooky dogwood. And then I can slowly pop all of his cards thanks to Dried Winds. Rage attack, literally. What are the chances he draws another Kaiju? Like, all of his invoked engines are done for because he only has a single... Oh, he was also playing Numerons? Didn't they ban the Numeron stuff? Say goodbye to Alistair! Romajar will gain me 500 life points and then Dried Winds will pop Alistair. Infinite banning, infinite destruction, side effects. Ooh. I don't want to set this card yet. I could put this in attack position, because he just plays a whole bunch of Time Lords. And I can just destroy stuff anyway. Or flip it face down with Eclipse. I don't want to set side effects because I don't want my back row wiped with a uh, Harpy's Feather Duster. I don't have any protection for it right now. They banned number one. They banned a single Numeron XCs. Yeah, I think they banned a single one so you can't do the combo, right? Or can you still do it, just only with three? Aroma Jar Beatdown? Yeah! Main phase one. Whatever monster he summons is going to get destroyed thanks to Aroma Jar and Dried Winds combo. Whoa, this actually looks pretty cool with the effect on it. Oh no, Zaphion. That card clears my back row. I can't let that attack. It will get rid of it because it flips it face up, which means it'll be up for the standby phase. There can be only one! Uh, I don't want to set that either, just in case I get my 
stuff rocked. So, Aroma Jar it is! <laughs> Gain life points. Tried win. It's not going to destroy it, but that's fine. Because it's going to get shuffled back during the standby phase. And that is the only Time Lord that can clear my field. There is another one, but it, it gives me a bunch of draws afterwards, so it's fine. A Kaiju? That's better. Unless you have another Kaiju in hand that's stronger. Oh. They do have another Kaiju in hand which was stronger. That's declared battle. Look at all these Kaijus he has. His whole deck is just Kaijus. Yeah, side effects time to destroy it. Oh, actually, I can just... Holy fuck. They're not playing a, oh, a 40 card deck. <laughs> oh no. I still don't want to play any of my face down cards until I have some protection for my cards. I'll play side effects because I can at least chain it. Sixty card pile. I don't think it was a sixty card pile, but it was more than forty cards for no reason. Gores. Oh, there was a question. Oh, there was a couple of questions, right? Oh no, I, I read that one. Is attacking fairy dragon and defense position gain life points equal to the damage, and then we'll pop the kaiju. Dried Winds is too strong, man. I could use side effects, but I don't want to use that unless I have a combo with it. <laughs> Macro Cosmos. I don't know if Cosmos really is a detriment to my opponent. And my opponent is playing Kaijus for days. If I summon one of my cards, Spooky Sister... I could go into Nightmare Phoenix to pop a back row and start attacking. Let's see, it's a water type, a light type. Hmm. And they do have a whole bunch of Kaijus. Uh, I'm probably never going to be able to use it. Let's see here. And they're only summoning a single monster every turn anyway, so... What if I synchro six if you normal VG? I don't have any synchro monsters. Wait, is this a tuner? No, it's not. I'll get rid of there can be only one. They're playing Time Lords. They're not gonna summon more than one monster anyway. Hakero? They have Eldlich too? I still don't want to set Macrocosmos until I I have protection for it. Especially since it's not really going to hinder my opponent very much. Hello? Let's see, I have a question. Mr. Logs, did you see Rosamie's MD stream yesterday? Alira FDK with Trickstar Burn? Oh yeah, that was funny. It's because she activated Maxi. <laughs> Eld Elixir of the Scarlet Sanjuin. Oh fuck, this is during the end phase. They can go into Eldlich. Well, I can destroy it. That's not a big deal. I can macro cosmos side effects to pop it with dried winds. Eld elixir of the Scarlet Sanguini. The thing is, they haven't been playing any Eldlich cards, so how was I supposed to know they had this? Shuffle all cards in your opponent's graveyard into your deck. Do I have cards in my graveyard? I would like those back in my deck, sure. Time to actually use Macrocosmos. Wait, you from Lee Great Wozumi's channel, right? What? You from? Yes, I watch Rosemi. I love Rosemi. She's my favorite streamer. 
You fool. I don't even use my graveyard. Ooh. I drew Pot of Extravagance immediately. He helped you survive the mill? He did. This is going to make it harder to actually use Ancient Leaf. Time to do pot? Yeah, I'm going to do pot. I'm going to take 2,000 points of damage, but that's fine. Because I can just gain it back. Six cards. I'm so confused by this person's deck. It's a Time Lord pile. <gasps> oh, those are both good. Hmm. Cauldron is obviously more valuable. I don't have any protection for any of my cards, though. Well, I need Macrocosmos to counter the Eldritch strategy. I need Cauldron to gain life points. And then I want to add Gravekeeper's Servant, but I don't need it. And then gain some life points. I need to increase my, my life point threshold. Dried Winds is procced for the turn, since apparently it's a mandatory effect. Okay. And then end turn. Hopefully they don't bring out Eldlitch yet. Yay! No Eldlitch! All Aroma effects are mandatory. I vaguely remember this effect not being mandatory, but that's fine. Also, how come I didn't inflict damage to your opponent? Oh, once per turn, if your opponent draws a card. The first time this card would be on the field is destroyed. It is not destroyed once per turn. Discard a level 10 monster. Draw a card. This set card. Dispel trap card zone. Time Lord monster. Shovel into your deck. Then you can set one Infinity. Shuffle into your deck. Then set one Infinity machine. Oh, I guess you use that during the standby phase when they would go back anyway. Hmm. Okay. Eldlixir of the Scarlet Sanguini. Yeah, there we go. Now I can finally use Macrocosmos. That way the card gets banished instead of going to the graveyard. Because if you activate Eldlixir after I use Macrocosmos, then it would uh go to the graveyard. Eldlich. Now I can just use side effects whenever I want to banish Eldlich. They're one copy of Eldlich, mind you. Battle phase. Side effects. Draw three cards. It'll help you. Draw three cards. You know you want to. If you draw three cards, that gives me Ancient Leaf. If you only draw one card, I still get Ancient Leaf. Yeah! Three cards. Let's banish that Eldlich, because I have Macro Cosmos out. Unless they drew into like an MST or something. What are the chances they did that? Discard. One level 10 monster, draw a card. It's gonna get banished. What do they discard? A Time Lord? That's fine. Go ahead and mill your deck more for me. Please, please mill your deck more. <laughs> Yes, give me more mill. Macrocosmos hard counters Eldlich. I got this. Ooh, child's play. Oh, this is such a devious combo with dried winds. Every time my opponent... Wait, I can just start dealing damage with this now. I'm going to use Ancient Leaf. Oh my god, I actually got to use Ancient Leaf. Pay 2,000, draw two cards. Let's start dealing damage. 600 damage. If I use Child's Play, no, I'm gonna use Soul Levy. If I use Soul Levy, it's gonna monk up my back row though. I think I should just not activate anything right now. Because I can't use Cubic Ascension because of the Cubic Seed in my hand. He doesn't special summon much, does he? 
Replay the attack? Yeah, I have 1900 attack. He he does attack, actually. His Time Lords need to attack to get their effects off. Hmm. I'll do it. Why not? He can't attack. Gravekeeper's Servant in Macrocosmos means my opponent can no longer attack. This is life point gain, not mill. Well, he has too many cards. It's faster to burn him. <laughs> he can't attack anymore. <laughs> Although my back row is super vulnerable right now. I only have two cards left in my extra. I can't even use Pot of Prosperity. Let's do some burn damage. We're at 900 now. I hope they draw the back row out. If they do, I can just play a whole bunch of other floodgates for my hand. You can't use Feather yet. Ring of Destruction? Go ahead, help me kill you faster. No, he can't attack. He can't even use, he can use Feather to Storm now. Straight flush. Numeron Network. Can't attack. I don't think you can use the effect because Macrocosmos requires you to send the card to the graveyard. It can't do anything. Mr. Logs, when you're activating full screen spider and tiny Yu-Gi-Oh screen? Never. I can just slowly kill my opponent with Cauldron. <laughs> Didn't he already banish Numeron Colin? Yeah, he did actually. Yeah, it's right here. He can't attack, and I'll just slowly. Oh, I win. <laughs> Burn damage win. Yep, old man for the win. Dude, this deck is working so well, oh my god. It never works this well when I play it normally. Life point gain mill? More like... Of an estimated runtime? Um... What time and place? Um, hmm. Oh man, I have some scheduling to do. I have a a D and D game that I'm going to be doing next week on stream, and then I also have a quiz show that I need to schedule. Dude, it's tough working with everybody's schedules. The Devious Laugh sold it for me. <laughs> All it took was a negate. <laughs> a mindless mystic mind burn. Exactly. The thing is, didn't I get the mill off in one duel? Yeah, I did. Are we gonna kidnap Mini to a quiz? Yeah, Mini's gonna be the the one of the next quiz. I have mini for the god damn it cubic ascension and cubic seed. Actually, cubic seed's pretty good. Yeah, so mini is the next one on the the game show, and then the D and D one. I'm still getting the people set up for it. End phase. Let's go hacking bat. Yeah. I want to have Mini on, and I have a couple of other people. I was thinking about increasing the rewards, though. Because currently the rewards for winning are around $200. But I was thinking it would probably look better if it was just like 100 gifted subs instead. But 100 gifted subs is expensive, isn't it? How much is that? How do you check? I can't give myself subs on this screen. I can open this screen over here. Special summon a monster. Over here. 
Spooky Dogwood. Dogwood. Damn it, stop unmuting me, you stupid piece of garbage. 100 subs is $500. Oh my god. That's a lot of doll hairs. Uh, the thing is, I can afford that. It's just like so much money. Like, 500 that would be paid through Twitch. Twitch gives me about 1500 a month. So that's three weeks worth. That's three quiz shows if it's 100 gifted subs. I think 100 subs is probably fine. 25? Well, I already do 20 gifted plus um. 20 gifted subs plus uh, 10,000 bits. So it's already around 200. 50 gifted subs? 50 doesn't have a nice round number to it though. Like 100 just sounds better, you know? I can invite to a D&D &D 8 man battle royale. I can be a shepherd druid with candle invocation pixies. God, that sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> Uh, like, it sounds fun, but, like, combats like that take forever to resolve. Like, D&D &D combat is so much more fun when everybody knows what they're doing and does their roles quickly. But most of the time, they don't actually think about what they're going to do until their turn starts. So, like, everybody takes their turn, and then everybody starts their turn, and then starts thinking, what should I do now? I know I just had a bunch of time to... D determine what my turn should be, but I think I'm going to take my time at the start of my turn to determine what I'm going to do during this turn. And so, like, it'll go into someone's turn. It's like, okay, so let me look at this board. Let me see everything. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm going to do this. Let me read my ability real quick. Okay, I'm going to do that. Let me do the rolls for that. Uh, I'm going to do something that requires uh, 100 rolls. Yeah, there we go. And someone else's turn. Okay, it's my turn. So, let me see the board. Okay, this is what everybody's doing. Uh-huh. So, what should I do here? Nobody ever, like, just does anything outside of their turn. It's so annoying. So I, I have to plan my combats around the notion that my, uh... Well, he's gonna get his effects negated. No, it destroys the card at the start of the damage step. Never mind. Uh-oh, I'm dead. Uh-oh, I'm dead. I think I'd rather save that. I don't need to use it now. I wouldn't craft anything for event. You don't plan on using irregular duels. Probably not. Fuck. This is why I hate face down cards. They're too vulnerable to disruption. If I set Morphine Jar, it'll just get popped before it has a chance to flip. Same with Aroma Jar. We immerse in the moment of the game. You should already know what the things to do. Yeah, nobody does. It's so common for people to just wait until their turn starts to determine what they're going to do for their turn. Combat would go so much more smoothly if they just planned out their turn before their turn starts, but it never happens, ever. Any of the groups I've ever been in. And it's so much of a problem that even if you remind them, they'll do it for one game, and then they'll forget next time, and they won't do it again. You have to, like, constantly remind them. To the point where it's not even worth it. It's just better to plan around them being like that. <laughs> I feel like one veiler would be useful, but I don't know. One veiler is useful. Hi, Mr. Logs. Hello there, big brother D. Thanks for the sub. Oh, <gasps> Pack up squad. This will help. So give me that will turn their attacks into card draw. That's right. Lose your cards with Baguska. Give me all of that card draw. Like 90% D&D is fake until you make it. D&D &D combat is fun. Yeah, draw me two cards. And then give me that back. Thanks for the sub, Judo Keg 785 Okay, so I'm thinking of increasing the game show winnings to 100 subs. What do you guys think? 100 subs is equivalent to $500.
You think that's a good enough prize for the game show? I think that's a good prize for the game show. He's not going to attack? You can just destroy it. I think 100 subs is a lot. 100 subs and no bits? Yeah, I was thinking 100 subs and no bits. Too much? Like, if we only do two game shows a month, and Twitch pays me $1,500 a month, I think Twitch itself still supplies me the necessary funds in order to accomplish the goal, you know? Temples of Mind Eye, Trickstar Reincarnation. I don't need to use Light Stage yet. But Light Stage... I think I'd rather just have Temples to draw some cards through Backup Squad for a bit. 100 cells would be 250 for the represent. No, assuming they go the default payout. Yeah. Pretty much. And it's a better, nice, round, even number. I finally have protection for Harpy's Feather Duster. Drulox is one of the VTubers. Isn't it kind of harder for the VTuber Spider to be streaming? Well, for one, I'm not a VTuber, but two, I changed my stream times. It also lots to give him perpetual subscribers. True. Oh, Exa Sister Vardis? Fuck. This is bad. They can banish my floodgates. Starlight Road doesn't protect me versus this kind of removal. My one weakness. Incredibly specific targeted removal. Sophia. Wow, they gained life points? I need life points. Starlight Road the classic. Starlight Road saves me. Oh, I didn't know they were playing Exit Sisters, too. They're going to remove all my cards. 100 cells would be 250. Isn't that 250 to them after the Twitch split? Yep, yep. Yeah, because when I was first doing the things, I was talking to like whoever was first up. Or I was talking to some people. Maybe it was chat. And I was like, what should I give them? Bits or, or subs? And someone made the point, like, with subs, there's more benefits to subs. Because, for one, it encourages people to want to resubscribe. Which could give them long-time subscriptions, which is more money down the road. And two, it gives them, you know, like, emotes. Emotes on their channel. So there's actual benefits to the viewers, rather than just the, the Twitch person with the, the bits. Exis sister, Carpidevium. I'm fucked. Emotes are the best reward? I think emotes are better for them because I think they get more money from that. But most people like the subs better because there's just... There's more incentive to make more money down the line. And also it also gives benefits to the chat itself. Because if you get to 100 give subs, there's a chance a lot of them are going to get a sub. Dulux really wants to be the biggest gifter on a ton of Yu-Gi-Oh! streamers channels. Now I have that thing disabled. There's a there's an option to show to remove you from the leaderboards, and I have it enabled, so it doesn't show up. You can't see how much money I spent on other people's streams. Well, I mean, you probably could. I'm sure there's a website that tracks that, but I won't show up as a as a top gifter. Yeah, subs get to the emotes too, which is great. Yeah, exactly. So, like, when I came to the conclusion, you know, through talking to other people, because at first I thought bits was better, because I get more money that way, but... Um, they all pretty much convinced me that subs are better. Because it, you know, rewards the streamer and their chat, whereas bits only reward the streamer. And a lot of people I talk to are like, well, can we just donate the winnings to charity? And it's like, no. A lot of people I invite on are going to definitely appreciate the money, and I don't want to set up a precedent where, you know, they're, they're guilted into giving it away to charity. That's the card you banish? Not the floodgates? Okay. Sounds good to me. Screw charity? No, I, I donate to charities all the time. Well, very micro amounts. Yeah! Yeah! Look at all of these draws! 
What's this? Declare one card name. What happens if it attacks? No more draws? No! When an attack is declared... <laughs> one dollar charities! Like every time a, uh, a homeless person asks me for money, I give him a 20. Anytime there's an option to like round up, I do it. Or they're like, hey, would you like to donate five dollars to charity? I say yes. It's those things. It's minor stuff. Hmm, do I have anything that can help me here? I do. I do have things that can help me here. Trick Starlight Stage. How do I join the Duologues Discord? Uh, one of the mods can give you a link. Are there any mods on in? I don't think there are any mods, are there? Is there at least one? I see a mod right there. There's Crypto. Crypto, what are you doing? They're asking you how to get into the Discord. You need to tell them how to get into the Discord. Will you marry me, Rich Logs? Only if you're a big-breasted goth GF. <sighs> Where's the lightning when you need it? <laughs> he turned off Macrocosmos. During my turn. Let's select this card over here and get rid of it. Oh, wait, maybe I should use Kaiser Coliseum first. What if it summons Ice Dragon's Prison? Oh, yeah, I should have used Kaiser Coliseum. That would have prevented them from using it. Light Stage. Activate Kaiser. Activate Side Effects. Activate Present Card. End Turn. Activate side effects. Come on, draw three cards. Please, I'm begging you. Give me three cards. I'm on my knees. Oh, that's all you're doing? I needed more than that. Baguska's gone. Haha, <laughs> Baguska. Okay, well, I'm hand-boned. I kind of needed to draw reincarnation. I asked because I made galaxy eyes for this event. What did you do? What if you are a big-breasted goth GF? Well, too bad. Because I'm kidding. I don't date fans. Why did I Discord link to the rotating post like the Clips channel? Because I don't want a constant link to it. You see, once you get uh, to a certain point of, of notoriety, you get what we call um, anti-fans who uh, love to fuck with you. <laughs> there is a really cool Discord bot you can have, which requires them to do a, a, a captcha. I didn't know that existed until I was joining some Discords last night. I might just do that and then have a constant link. Fans date me, you say? No, I didn't say that. I said no. I lost all my moon coins. Okay, uh, I gotta go. We're, we're at two hours. There will be another stream later on tonight. Whom's streaming right now? Let me see. Everybody who is up and about. Ooh, Cafe Fico. Oh, it's Cafe Fico! Everybody give Cafe Fico some love. He's my favorite alpaca based VTuber. He also has this thing where if you spend channel points you can put a whole bunch of coffee on his desk. Like a whole bunch. Like a whole bunch. You guys all better redeem that. If you don't, I'm watching. I'll come for you. Nine, 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 nine.